Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So in today's video, I just wanna give you an update on how everything's going on the farm with weaning and then Lumiere being in with the herd. So I'm just gonna make a really quick little video just to update you, okay? So I hope you enjoy. As you can see, we are getting some snow. So again, it's going from mud freeze, mud freeze, super fun. But everything is going really chill with Lumiere and the herd. Jiminy and him are getting along just fine. I'm getting ready to bring everybody in to eat and the ones who need blankets will get them, but it's actually not that cold out. It's just gonna be a little bit more freezing rain. They may or may not need blankets. I'm not 100% sure yet, but they're gonna come in. There, you can see a little bit better now. So we got Jiminy, Lumiere, Zazu, Gaston, all hanging out, eating out of the new bale barn. I'm gonna walk out here. So the big question is with Lumiere, who is more dominant, him or Jiminy Cricket? Well, now that it's been a few days, I have the answer to that. So who do you guys think is more dominant just based off what you've seen and you know, from watching the channel and all of that? Also fun fact here, when you can actually see the snow sitting on the horse, that means their coats are working and insulating them. So Gaston, Lumiere, they're all doing great. Got tons of hay. Can I come over here? Oh, wow, what a good place to be. Hi, Zaz. You good boy, Zazu. Yeah, so Lumiere and Zazu are definitely buddies. I think that's super cute. Lumiere, you're gonna be rebraided today. Yes, you are. Gonna get those braids out and get you new ones. The running braids have actually worked out really well. I like them and they're really pretty. Now, we'll probably switch it up from time to time because you don't wanna do the same thing constantly with the wear and tear, but yeah. Yeah, this is working out great. We got a super thick hay net. This is from Hay Chicks and it's the heavy duty one. It was all in all about $300 shipped. Yes, you guys are happy. Jiminy too. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you who is more dominant, Jiminy or Lumiere. And the horse that is now the alpha of the herd is indeed Mr. Lumiere. So it's pretty crazy to me because Jiminy has been top dog for years. Now he wasn't always top dog. I used to have borders when we first started Free Spirit Farm. You know, when we just bought the farm, we spent two months cleaning it up and then I brought in a few boarders. I do not board anymore, nor do I want to. But anyways, he wasn't the top dog then. There was a couple horses that were higher up than him. I do think it might be because Lumiere just was a stallion and he's just more dominant now, or it can just be that individual horse. I've also heard of horses that were studs and then once they were put out with a herd, they were bottom. So it's all really individualized, but Lumiere is now the herd leader. So pretty crazy. That's gonna be an adjustment, but Jiminy is doing really well. Like it's nothing big. Again, it was pretty chill with Jiminy when he met him. It was almost as chill as Mushu. So I'm happy that it's not like a stressful thing. It's just part of her dynamics. It is what it is. You see, I Jiminy. I know Jiminy. But Jiminy's definitely still second. And they're all getting along. Like, as you can see, like if there was a huge issue, Jiminy would not be standing by the bail barn. Lumiere would tell him to move away. And Jiminy has been eating. Like he's just chilling right now, probably waiting to come in for breakfast. So it's in between freezing and not freezing. Super fun there. But yeah, just wanted to give you a little update on the herd dynamics. Um, Arlo is inside right now with Belle because I'm kind of rotating horses in and out to give her support. You saw Jiminy in the one video. And then I'll put Bagheera next to her or Arlo, whatever the case may be, just so she has someone. And again, we're gonna set up a longer term solution for Belle in terms of where she's gonna be like on the property or whatever the case may be. And again, having Belle in the private paddock is just temporary, trying to figure out a solution for a longer term because she cannot go out with Ezzy for a minimum of two months, okay? So we'll figure all that out. I'll talk about that in a later video, mainly because I still have to figure a few things out before I make a final decision. Okay, let's go check on the babies now and see how they are doing with weaning. Obviously, I mean, Esmeralda, but yeah. Okay, let's head over there. Hi, Lumi. Saying hi. He's doing so well. Well, hello. Oh, hi. Mushi, he's doing good too. Are you being a good big brother slash uncle? Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, are you? Ezzy's doing so well too. I know, now you guys got snow. At least you're out of the mud now. It's just disgusting out here. Oh, Bagheera, your coat's working so well. Girl, you were groomed so well yesterday. And then you rolled again in the dirt and got your face disgusting. I know, you guys are gonna come in, okay? Okay? Yeah, everybody's coats are working great. I'm not worried. I'm not really even cold out here. Ezzy, you wanna say hi to Koa? Koa, she's trying to say hi to you. Come here. 
to say hi to you. No? <laughs> yeah, so everything's been chill. There really hasn't been any drama. Like I said, they called out maybe a couple times, but that's pretty much it. Everyone's happy as can be. Ariel's chilling over there. Nishu, hold on. I'm talking about Ariel. Hi, baby. You doing good? <sighs> She's like, yeah, I'm just going to eat. So Mushu thinks he's hot stuff over here because he's the most dominant. But you're really not because you're in with two babies and an old grandma. So I'm sorry, but that doesn't really make you a true alpha buddy. <laughs> he sure thinks so. But he's kind. Like, he'll let the foals know, but he's still kind which is perfect. And for those of you people who do not understand blanketing, do not comment, okay, please. It's so obnoxious when I post videos of the horses and people are like, why don't they have blankets? Why don't they have this and that, blah, blah, blah. Well, first off, they have a shelter. Like I said, some of them are gonna come in because we have lessons. And right now I actually don't think anyone needs a blanket because everyone's coat is working well. It's just gonna depend on the weather. So we're just gonna have to see. I monitor it because I'm here all day, okay? So if something changes, I can quickly come out and bring them in or blanket them or whatever the case may be. So don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I love my horses. I want them to be as comfortable as possible. And right now they are. Also, people need to understand on the flip side with blanketing, is that if you always have a blanket on your horse, it's actually hard like on their shoulders, it's causing rubs, even if it fits well. It's just not good to have things on a horse constantly. You know what I mean? Sometimes less is more. And just constantly carrying the weight of a blanket, even on the shoulders, like I said, even if it fits, it's not really the best to do it all of the time when it's not necessary. So that's something I take into consideration as well. You getting a little drink? But yeah, I'm honestly very impressed with how the weaning has gone thus far. Ezzy has been such a good girl and I'm very excited to do more full training. I do have a full training video that I'm going to be doing soon. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. I can't decide if we're going to be inside or outside. It's going to depend on the weather because it's going to warm up here to like the high 40s pretty soon. So we'll see. But I have something in mind. I think it'll be really fun to see Ezzy and Ariel in action again and do more with them. Plus again, I'm going to be talking about Belle and her future plans. Nobody freak out about them, okay? I don't even 100% know what's going on yet. I'm gonna update you every step of the way. But again, we do have something coming up. So just stay tuned. It's not good, it's not bad. It's just is what it is, okay? This time of year is kind of hard for me just because the weather. I mean, it's just so crazy how it changes from mud to freeze, from warm to cold. Not only does it affect the care of the horses and you know the energy put into it, but also the facility upkeep. And then again, it does sometimes affect my training plans. Like. I can put that on hold, it's fine, but sometimes it's frustrating when you have this whole plan and then the weather like highly affects it. So this is the hardest time, I would say between January and April. <laughs> Every other time is like great because the weather's decent, it's way more manageable. We just have so much going on here. Like I, was, I wasn't I was super stressed about weaning. I think it was just a lot at once with like Lumiere and then, you know, the weaning process with Belle and then upcoming plans we have both with the horses and personal stuff going on. So it was a little bit stressful, but I'm feeling really good today. And I just want people to understand that owning horses at this level and this capacity it is not just like, wow, look at what I have. Like, oh, I'm going to go ride today. And oh, yes, I'm going to feed my horses treats all day. Like, yes, there are definitely a lot of moments like that. But seriously, a lot of it is really hard and stressful. And it's worth it for me because it's my passion and I love horses. But it is all I do. I have to base my entire life around them. And I'm okay with that. I'm just telling you so that people understand. Like, this isn't just, you know, wake up and it's just completely magical every single day. No, it's freaking hard. And sometimes you'll cry a lot. And also, you're just going to put in the blood, sweat, and tears. And there's going to be really good days and there's going to be really bad days. And I honestly don't even know how to explain it to somebody in full detail but just know that this lifestyle you have to want it and work for it and it is not easy okay okay obviously we have to go check on miss bell the queen here she's doing good so let's go see her now i did keep her in just last night but she's going to go back out in the paddock i just wanted her to be relaxed and again just with the weather so sometimes she'll stay out in the paddock all night or she'll come in the stall at night just depending on what we're doing and just trying to keep her as calm as possible. I mean, like I said, they've called out a little bit, 
Um, but it's been really good. It's been really good so far. I'm going to put you in the indoor arena for a second, okay, while I clean out your stall. And then I think I'm going to put you in the paddock. Okay, mama? Yeah, but there really wasn't any, like, drama to show you in the weaning video or this video because there really wasn't other than just the calling out. So, yeah. And I think a lot of people were saying, like, why didn't you let her wean naturally? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And again, I'm just talking about this, not because I feel the need to explain myself, but because this is the whole point of YouTube is just talking about it. And I want to explain myself. So that's why I do. Weaning naturally. First off, horses in the wild, number one, they are bred back to back by a stud. Okay, so they are constantly being bred or they constantly have a foal by their side, which to me sounds absolutely exhausting and horrible. <laughs> That's just personally, could not imagine just constantly doing that and never having a break. But also studs like will harass them. They'll come in. Sometimes other studs will kill the foals because they're not their offspring. Not always, but sometimes nature's cruel. Okay. Yes, there are things that we should take away from wild horses and nature, but there's also things we need to consider in domestication because it's not the same. So I think you have to have a balance. I also want to say that she was showing signs of natural weaning. She was still allowing Ezzy to nurse, but at the same time, she was getting a little more more like squealy at her and wanting to kick out just a little bit and that's all natural but you don't want it to get to the point where it's dangerous okay also Ezzy is absolutely ginormous and she's seven and a half months old so I think that was a totally appropriate and acceptable age to wean her and also she's so big she could start sucking the life out of Belle aka the nutrients okay so we have to consider all of these things because as you know I think about a lot of things when I do them it's not just willy-nilly and again this is my first full okay I'm not saying I'm an expert or anything I'm absolutely not but I asked a lot of really good friends, breeders, to my own research, talked to my vet, all of the things, okay? So I just wanted to bring that up because those are excellent questions and I want to educate. So yes, Mama is doing absolutely fantastic, all things considered. And yeah, she'll run around in here sometimes, which is good, get her some movement. I do a little bit of groundwork with her because you don't want her to swell up too much and get mastitis, I think that's how you say it. Sorry, I'm like horrible at pronouncing things sometimes, but she's doing good. She's doing well. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, you're so good. I know, I gotta get you some treats. I'll get you some, okay? I'll get you some, you good girl. Yeah, she's way more chill than she was that first video I posted the other day. Yes. I know. I gotta clean that stall of yours. Now, it's normal for them to drop a little bit of weight, especially since she was nursing Ezzy. And then even if she's not showing tons of outwardly signs of stress, she still could be stressed. Like, I know she is. But yeah, her weight will come up in the next week. And this is a natural time where horses drop weight. It's actually to reboot their metabolism. So this is actually very healthy. You can look that up. It's pretty fascinating though. But yeah, I definitely want to get a little more weight on her. So you don't want to up their grain right away because you don't want, you know, them to get too bagged up and develop mastitis. So yeah, we're doing everything we can. Yes, mama. And she has a 24 seven round bale. I mean, obviously she was in last night, but she has enough hay to get her through the night, of course. So she has 24 seven forage and yeah. But it's better than her being a big old chunker monker because we basically, you've been pregnant the whole time other than when you had as you got really chunky this summer and fall. So I think now you're regulating and we're gonna get you where we want. Plus she doesn't have muscle because she's, you know, obviously we've been doing groundwork, but she's not been in training. So it's a bunch of different things. But she's a very good girl. Yes, I know. You're just looking for treats, huh baby? You're just looking for treats. I don't have one right now. I gotta get you one. I gotta get you one. <laughs> she's so precious. Yes, you should go, Mama. You are. Okay, now Mama Belle is in her private paddock eating. Yes, it's snowing outside. It is. I know. Yeah, like I said, I mean, she's doing well, but this is just kind of how she is. Like, she's just more nervous. Got lots of bedding for her, fresh water. She has a trough outside, 24-7 round bale. 
Yeah, you love eating your grain, huh? It's just a transition for her. And you know, it's just gonna take a little time to settle back in and all that. You know, I was just thinking the other day and I just came to the conclusion that horses go through so much. I mean, not every horse is dealt a good hand. Like Ezzy, in my opinion, has it made, not that I'm the end all be all, but from the sense of she was born into a good situation, a good home, where I feel like most horses, at least some of the horses I have were not. And I just sit there and I think about the trauma they have. And, you know, just like Ariel being weaned so soon and then on a long trip from Canada to Michigan and then going through the auction and, you know, never being handled. And then Belle, who's, you know, eight years old, doesn't seem to have any formal training, is just nervous because she just hasn't really been given a chance. And it's just super unfortunate. Like, I just... I don't know. My heart just goes out to them. And some of the horses I have now, I mean, same thing. They've either went through a sale or you can tell there's been some level of abuse or horses I've had in the past. I mean, I've had horses that are completely emaciated. I mean, just so many different things. And I don't know. It just breaks my heart. And that's why I just love doing what I'm doing is finding these horses. And I'm not saying I'm a rescue and I'm not saying that other people aren't out there doing that or that every horse at an auction is going to go to a bad home. That is not true. That is not true. But I just sit there and I think about it from their perspective and being a prey animal, like how hard it is, it just kind of sucks. And there's just so much emotion that goes into this type of work too. I mean, just retraining them and spending time with them. I mean, even Lumiere, I mean, he's going through a transition and, you know, he's been by himself and he hasn't, other than like the training he's had from other trainers, he's never had consistent training and he's been isolated. So even he has to go through a transition and he's fantastic. But just because a horse is, you know, beautiful and nice doesn't mean that they're not going to be a lot of work. Like even Mushu, he's a well-bred gypsy vanner and he's been doing fantastic but it's a lot of work to get them to that point. And it's not always fun. Like sometimes it's nerve wracking because you don't know how they're gonna react in certain situations. And it's just so much, it's so much, but it is also so rewarding to see a horse completely change in whatever capacity they're able to. Even if it's not riding, it doesn't even have to be that. Just in some way, shape or form, it's just so special. Koa is loving the snow. I can't believe we're actually getting like a decent amount right now. Okay, so Belle is happy, chilling in the paddock. I gotta bring some of the other horses in. Yep. Hi, babies. I gotta get you in now, okay? Get you some breakfast. All right, we got Gaston and then Zazu in. Like I said, of course, Arlo and Belle's outside eating her round bale. These horses are doing lessons this morning, so they're in. I fed everybody else outside and they're doing well. Yes, Lumi, you just get to hang out with Jiminy. You're gonna come in, we're gonna do some groundwork later. Yes. I wanna go out to the paddock and spend some time with the foals, plus Mushu and Bagheera. Mushu and Bagheera will come in later because Bagheera has lessons this evening and then I'm gonna do some work with Mushu. I won't be filming that because I'm super busy, but yeah. Well, aren't you the cutest thing? <laughs> Mushu, you just want all the attention. And I know they look wet, but I say this every video, not actually wet. He's dry underneath. <sighs> Supposed to stop snowing in a little bit. And they got the shed. Ariel, your coat's working really good, girl. It's working so good. Not sure how much Mushu likes his new job, being a babysitter, but it's good for him, honestly. Ezzy baby, how you doing? We got some fun things we're gonna do. We got some fun things we're gonna do, okay? You're such a good girl. You've been awesome about this. You've been awesome, baby. You're so big and cute. Mushu, be nice. Be nice to her. You're just as bad. You guys are both attention hogs. You both are. Yes, you bad. Oh, Ezzy. I think she's a little sad, but she's been doing good. She's still playing, running around, being a goof, so. <laughs> you two are crazy. Good girl. Good girl. Be nice. Ezzy. <laughs> you great. 
crazy. You mustache boy. And they want to be outside, trust me. They don't want to be in the stalls. <laughs> Why are you so funny? So yeah, everything's going really well at the farm and I'm glad that things have worked out smoothly. Again, I just have to monitor them and pay attention, make sure everything continues to go smoothly. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this update. And I also just wanna say thank you so much for all of your support, horse lovers. I just love reading your comments and I just really appreciate that you are following along in the journey here at Free Spirit Equestrian, but also with the individual horses. So thanks again. <laughs> you so pretty, look at your gorgeous face. Look at my baby. She's so cute. Mushu. Oh my goodness. He thinks he's hot stuff, like I said. You guys need to tell him off. I'm going to put you back out with the other geldings eventually, and you're going to learn that you are not the top dog, buddy. You just aren't. You're in here with a bunch of amateurs and Bagheera, who doesn't care. <sighs> this horse. I've never seen another horse like him, I swear. You're crazy. Oh, my poor girls. Is he so mean? <laughs> Good girl. Bagheera, you're so pretty. You're so cute. Ariel's in the shed, chilling. Yeah, you guys are gonna learn about being in the barn and doing different things. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> you licking the salt black? Good boy. Just good babies out there. They're doing so good. Two dominant boys just chilling, being friends. Oh, I feel like he just threw that hay at him. That is hilarious. Also, horse lovers, we are offering a Valentine's Day lip kit surprise special, and I'm so excited about it. If you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order this lip kit off the Spirited Horse Boutique. Link in the comments and description. It comes with a brand new, never before released lip product, and I'm wearing it today, plus a gloss on top of it. So you will have to check this out. I think it's fun. It's a great way to support us. I work really hard to design and put out all these products, and I just love it. So if you're interested, that's something you can check out. Doing the photo shoot for this lip promo was so much fun, and they are so cute. So even if you're not interested, you should definitely check out the shoot. It was really cute. It's on the website under the product description. Thanks, horse lovers. All right, horse lovers. I hope you enjoyed this little update on the horses and the weaning and all of that. Make sure you stay tuned. We have some fun videos coming up and make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian. You can also follow us on TikTok and Facebook. And I wanna bring up, there is a scammer account on Facebook. It is not me. So I think they have like 65 or plus thousand followers on Facebook and they have a thumbnail with like me and Bagheera and then a picture of Esmeralda and I. That is not my Facebook page. So please, if you're following them, unfollow them. The actual link I will put in the comments and the description to my Facebook page because it is so annoying how they're scamming and all of that and I'm working on getting them removed but it's not always that easy. But anyways you can follow us on TikTok and Facebook. We post different updates there. Thanks again for tuning in horse lovers. I'll see you next time. Bye!